boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false data is already in place. False data? That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence, nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, we'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. You're really gonna do it, aren't you? Know this. Peace Walker's retaliation will be the first and last of the Cold War. It is the only way we will ever come close to achieving true peace. All that is left is to enter the cold. Go! Stand down, big boss. You're late. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. But I brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a... Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist dogs? What are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ah! Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Shoot him. Professor Galvez. Hmm. I am Vladimir Sadornov. And Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now. Do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. Boss! I'm sorry! Sandinistas. 
A true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of guerrillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged, formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Shape Kafara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Memo for data entry is complete. Dead at age 39, just like LJ. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did and become, as did she, an eternal fraud. Thanks. It's good to see you. 